and they face UConn. David Smith, the captain for the Huskies, climbs in, and it's 97 out of the shoot, and off we go in Gainesville. Just outside with 97, and David Smith works a leadoff walk. Then in the eighth inning, that home run we mentioned, 427 feet. David Smith swipes second to be here without number 44. Couldn't hold up, and Waldrip knows it, talks about it, and struts. It's a zero for Hurst and Waldrip. The change up every now and then, that'll give hitters a different look. 3-1 is high, and it's a walk. His teammate, one of his closest friends, Stephen Quigley, said he looks like a lumberjack, and his pitching coach, Josh McDonald, said, our tough guy. He hits Caglione. UConn already played in one yesterday. 1-2. Cut on and miss. Good change from Coe for out number two. Be really precise with where it's coming out at. Up the ladder for a strikeout. Jim Penders told us Coe might top out at 89. Reached back for 90. In the dirt, Daniel swings through it. Ryapel caps the K. Back-to-back, -back, 11 pitch innings for Hurston Waldrip. 3-1 to Heyman. Opposite way, great piece of hitting from the freshman. Bounces it to the wall, Studley picks it up and won't get him. Lead-off double for Luke Heyman in the second. Heyman's four for nine, a couple of doubles here in his first taste of regionals. Now Tyler Shellnut first pitch, swinging the right center. And David Smith there for the first out as Heyman tags and moves up 90. Productive out from Shellnut. Now left on left for Garrett Coe against Colby Halter, who's hit by the pitch. At the corners, one out in the second. Coe's 2-2, Evan strikes out. Garrett Coe has come up with three huge strikeouts already. He doesn't. Loaded for Langford. 40th pitch of the day for Coe is down. Florida draws first blood. Jack Caglione. First pitch swinging. Left center field and Smith is back with room. They moved him over. And then they did the safety squeeze, so using his legs. And now he pulls one in the left. Tyler Shellnut cuts it off. Morton tests him anyway, and he's got a double. Here with one out for UConn, and the first Husky hit against Hurston Waldrop. Consistency. 2-2. Smith bounces it past Waldrop into center field. Morton can blaze, and this game is tied. David Smith's done that three times now here at the NCAA tournament. A roller in the center to get a run home. Strikes out on a slider from Waldrop. Two down. That way I can give myself an opportunity. Runner goes and Freeberger strikes out. Waldrop's had that put away pitch going in his first three innings. We're locked at one. Two outs on four pitches for the southpaw here in the third. Luke Heyman, another to short, and Tamero. Makes it a five-pitch inning for Coe. That is massive. Ben Huber bounces one up the middle into center field of base hit. Huber keeps on hitting, and he'll be back next year, too. That's a strike at the bottom of the zone. The splitter is working for Hurston Waldrop. And it makes it tough as a hitter, because i got to try to pick, pick one out. Daniels the opposite way past the dive of Rivera. Good swing from the freshman, and there's two on for the Huskies with two out. Been hitting at a good clip. Squibber to first. Caglione flips. Waldrop strands two. Jim Penders is with us when we come back in the fourth. And pitching against the number two team in the country. Ooh, that is just down. Arm side again, four pitch walk, second of the inning. This is a comebacker, stings Co and he goes down. Off the upper left leg. First pitch swinging in the air to right center field and Studley runs it down. Shellnut scores and the Gators lead. 
on a Wyatt Langford sack fly on the first pitch. Vogel's been dynamite against left-hand hitters this year. First pitch swinging, Caglione to right center field, to the wall, and gone! Number 30! Caglione just sat on it. That's all he did, he sat on the slider right there. He's been seeing pitches well. Especially after the first game, you could tell he's been allowing the ball to travel a little bit more, seeing the off speed. 3-1, sales. Mike, let's take a trip back. Because this ball was absolutely exploded off the bat of Jack Caglione. Look at the setup, get the foot down, backside rotated and that ball's demolished. Look where this thing lands. Trying to get out there and get a snow cone that ball was. <laughs> Hard not to think too about some of the misfortune for UConn pitching. They're here practicing the day before the regional starts and one of their starting pitchers, Andrew Sears, gets diagnosed with mono. Gets taken to urgent care. And then Garrett Coe takes a comebacker off the leg and has to leave through four and a third. Oh, two. Nasty splitter. That thing is disgusting. And to think that it's that hard but have control of both sides of the plate with it is impressive. Swing and miss. The hockey goalie caps the K. That's a shutdown inning. And Hurston Waldrip is starting to feel it. Fiery in the fifth. Tyler Shelnut's got one of the six Florida walks as an offense. Slices this one down the line and right, and that's a fair ball into the corner. Studley collects, Shellnut coasts, one out double. In the fourth, squares and bunts in the fifth. Freeberger bare hands and makes the play. Quick, that's one thing we've seen a lot of. First pitch swinging Ty Evans. A run scoring single, he strokes into right and adds to the Gator lead with his first hit since April 11th. Through five. Stroke to left and Morton makes the catch. Preseason first team All-American pitching like it today. Just off the edge. 3-2. On the ground, left field base hit. First two on for the Huskies in the sixth. One, two. Studley takes strike three called. One away, strikeout number eight. Oh, two. Back to back K's. Ryan Daniels. This one kicks away from Raya Pell, and there's two in scoring position now for Ryan Daniels, the freshman. Two, two pitch. Daniels strikes out. Who we have not seen yet from the Gators. Nasty splitter, it's 11 strikeouts for Hurston Waldrop. Trying to finish his afternoon with a K. A dozen for number 12. Three, two. Freeberger bounces it softly to Halter. And Freeberger's on. For the second time in his many trips. Ninth pitch. Huber pulls it over Rivera in the left center. Two on with one out. And UConn threatening again. On the ground to third and Halter gets one and that's it. They give the out to Curlin. One for 11 this weekend. The fifth year senior from Stafford Springs, Connecticut. Pulls one to left and drops it down. In front of Wyatt Langford to score Freeberger. This game tightens to 6-2 here in the eighth inning. 0-2. Oh, Daniel strikes out. Vicarota bears down, leaves two. The Gators' lead is four. Going into another game if they get that opportunity. Lead off walk. Evans aboard for a third time. 
Braden Quinn in, the lefty to face Jack Caglione, and he hammers one. This might go over the scoreboard. Oh, man, from Caglione. 31. We've been talking about it all weekend long. The power of Jack Caglione has already done it. Josh Rivera bounces it to short. Paul Tamero ends the inning. Felt like Jack Caglione was going to hit his own headshot on the scoreboard and right. Look at him. Look at him. And the way this program is run, Simmons strikes out. Two outs left for UConn. We had a chance to meet him this weekend. Strikeout, two down. We'll see you tonight. Game six at this regional. Texas Tech with a win, heads to Supers. Should the Gators win, they force a game seven winner take all tomorrow.